this video demonstration, we will show you the steps to configure a wired network for onboarding new employee personal devices, also known as BYOD. In this topology, we will need a Windows laptop device for onboarding process. And an Alcatel Lucent Switch 6850E, running software version 6.4.6. R01 and ClearPass virtual machine running version 6.2.2 with the appropriate software licenses. Traffic flow for onboarding wired device. Based on Mac authentication service configured on ClearPass, user is assigned to a restricted user network profile role. AOS switch redirects the user's HTTP HTTPS traffic to CPPM web link to download the Quick Connect software to assist with new device onboarding process. The Quick Connect software will prompt the user for employee credential and downloading the certificates and automatically configure the network adapter for secure 802.1x authentication. Here are the steps to configure BYOD for the switch and clear pass server. From CPPM, creates the user account, onboarding settings, enforcement profiles and policies, and appropriate authentication services. From the switch configuration, configure AAA accounting and authentication, user network profiles, 802.1x authentication and captive portal redirect. Finally, verify the device network setting to confirm the network settings are configured for 802.1x authentication, and the user is able to authenticate and get appropriate network access. From ClearPass Policy Manager, click on Configuration, Identity, and local users. In this example, we will use the ClearPass internal database. You can also use your existing Microsoft Active Directory or Lightweight Directory Access Protocol server to authenticate the user. Click on Add User. We will create a new user name, Employee 003. Put in the appropriate information and map the user to Employee Role. During the device provisioning process, one or more digital certificates are issued to the device. These are used as the unique credentials for a device. To issue the certificate, ClearPass can operate as a certificate authority. From main page, click on ClearPass on board and workspace. From here, Click on Certificate Authorities, we are going to use the default setting, also take notice of the the OS URL link, to be used for authentication service. Navigate to Onboard MDM Configuration Network Settings, to display the Onboard Network Settings page. This page is used to configure the network settings that will be provisioned to devices. Put in the appropriate name, select Wired as Network Type and click Next. For Windows EAP, select TLS and click Next. Leave all the default setting and click Next. Leave all the default setting and click Next.
Leave all the default setting and click Next. Leave all the default setting and click Next. Leave all the default setting and click Save Changes. Navigate to Deployment and Provisioning and click on Configuration Profiles. Next click on Create New Configuration Profile. Put in the appropriate name and select the network setting we created earlier and save changes. Navigate to Deployment and Provisioning and click on Provisioning Settings. Next click on Create New Provisioning Settings. From here fill in the appropriate name and description. Select Local Certificate Authority, and for key type, select 2048-bit RSA created by server, and for authorization select the appropriate configure profile we created earlier, and click Next. From the web login provisioning settings, give it the appropriate page name and click Next. Accept all the default settings for iOS, OS X, Windows and Android. From onboard Quick Connect Client setting, for provisioning address select CPPM Physical IP Address or DNS Name if your DNS environment. For validate certificate, select No, do not validate this web server's certificate and click on Save Changes. Click on Test and validate the device provisioning page name and it is working correctly. Next we need to add the device provision web link to the captive portal page we created in the previous video. Navigate to the configuration page and click on web logins. Click on the Alcatel Lucent secure access page and edit the setting. Scroll down to the footer HTML and add the following HTML code to link to the device provisioning web page. Click on Save and Reload and verify the web link. We are going to use some of the previous profiles, policies and services we created in the Guest Network Access video. Here we have a restricted profile, with filter ID UNP-restricted, and captive portal URL, to be returned to Alcatel Lucent switch for unknown devices. And BYOD profile when the user is successful authenticated with 802.1x certificate based authentication. Here are the services we created to return the appropriate profiles to the switch. Here are the services we created to return the appropriate profiles to the switch based on MAC authentication and 802.1x authentication.
For authentication method use EAP, TLS, with OCSP enabled, and also select the appropriate authentication sources. After successful authentication, ClearPass will return a Radius UNP-BYOD profile back to the switch for network access. Next we need to create an onboard service to authenticate the user and return the appropriate network settings based on device type, iOS, Android, Windows. Navigate to the configuration, service template, scroll down and click on onboard authorization. Give it the appropriate name, ignore the wireless network settings naming and proceed to select the Alcatel Lucent Switch Device Uter Wireless Controller. For Wireless SSID, give it a dummy name and click Add Service and Save. This process will create some default profiles, policies and services to help with the onboarding configuration. Next we are going to modify the service to match with our configured topology. Select the onboard service. Click on authentication source and select the appropriate authentication source which is the local database. and modified the enforcement policy to delete one of the pre-configured condition which we do not need. Also delete the onboard provisioning service since we already have a 802.1x wired service configured. We are now done with CPPM configuration.